things to take a look at matters to do with budget preparation this is one of the big stories that uh, we we've seen this week where the parliamentary committee on budget and appropriations are now say that the 2023 2024 budget will prioritize repayment of debt even as it looks to cut borrowing in a bid to reduce kenya's debt now education and agriculture will also be given priority in the next financial year jasmine murani reports the government intends to substantially cut back on borrowing in the upcoming budget as it seeks to reduce Kenya's debt burden. According to the Parliamentary Committee on Budget and Appropriations, the upcoming 2023-2024 budget is set to have a lower debt component, with Parliament recommending that the government reduce its borrowing from the 860 billion shillings it was set to borrow in the current financial year to just 663 billion shillings. The high debt repayment is, however, of concern to both Parliament and the government, with the national debt currently estimated at over 9.4 trillion shillings. We have allocated much more money into something called CFS. CFS is the money that we use to repay the debts that we already borrowed and also to cater for pensions, to cater for our commissions. We have been able to scale that up because we are paying much more debt than has been previously paid to now over 970 billion shillings. But despite the lower borrowing target, Kenya, like many other African countries, is set to face a challenge of access to capital from international markets. Key global economic shifts such as raising of interest rates in the U.S. are set to make it more expensive to borrow. Kenya is also faced with an additional challenge of reviews in its global credit rating and a weakening shilling. It is with this in mind that the committee is now recommending that the government look to the domestic market. Out of the 663 billion that we are borrowing, a significant amount of that, over 500 billion of that money, actually precisely around 530 billion, we are borrowing internally. Because the monies outside are now too expensive given the other externalities that I've mentioned. So we want to borrow internally because you have capacity to borrow internally so that we also show the whole world that yes, Kenya can rely on its resources. The 23-24 budget will prioritize agriculture from a subsidy perspective alongside education which has been allocated 27% of the budget with capitation and hiring of new teachers taken center stage. The committee is still receiving submissions from departmental committees that have met with ministries, state departments and agencies. We will be hearing from the chairs. They present their budgets. We interrogate those budgets and then by the end of this week we'll have had all the chairs. Then we write the real budget next week. So we are burning midnight oil and we are up to the task. The budget is expected to be read on 15th of June alongside that of other East African countries. But the question on most Kenyans' minds remains the expected increase in taxes and introduction of new levies, which they hope Parliament will review or amend to cushion them from the tough economic times. Jasmine Murani for KTN News. All right, now let's move to matters of aviation, low-cost airline, Jumbo Jet has begun 